Good luck at time. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister and Chair of the National Institute of Cybersecurity. It is a genuine honor and a privilege to take part in the highly anticipated Swiss Cybersecurity Days. Now, the timing of this event could not be more opportune. 2024 is a year of elections, and as we all agree, shaping cyber resilience is key to safeguarding democracy. In this vein, I am proud to say that Taiwan got our year of the democratic bounce back off to a strong start. Our January elections were a sparkling success, despite insidious efforts of bad actors to sow the seeds of division and discord. Our people demonstrated once again that free and fair electoral contests are the ideal antidote for the ills of authoritarianism. We also show the world what can be achieved when a nation doubles down on democracy to free the future together. Now, my Ministry of Digital Affairs, or the MODA, cooperated closely with other ministries and agencies to heighten vigilance in the lead up to the elections. This was important given the number of cyber attacks against Taiwan increased by more than six times year on year and more than 33 times compared to the same quarter in 2022, according to the US IT outfit Cloudflare. We ensured the stable operation of critical infrastructure and key websites through drills and tests, safeguarding systems, and establishing a 24-7 rapid response team. Every denial of service or DDoS attack was locked, analyzed, and acted upon post-haste. I'm proud to say that this approach, complemented by frontline monitoring, proved effective as evidenced by the 22% drop in DDoS incidents compared to 2022. Now, anticipatory debunking, or pre-bunking, was another secret to our success. Cofacts, a crowdsourced platform set up by the G0V, or GovZero, civic tech community, played a key role in ensuring the integrity of online information. Malicious and innocent reports alike were studied and assessed on the basis of accuracy and persuasiveness. With the assistance of community-trained AI models, the results were quickly released, allowing the people to make informed judgments on the veracity of content. This harnessed the power of the crowds to create a safer and more sound information climate. So, much like the philosophy of Doris Fialia, president of Swiss Cybersecurity Days, Taiwan believes cybersecurity is best achieved through collaboration. And this is where the MODA also offers a helping hand with building bridges and finding solutions. After all, no democracy is an island, not even Taiwan. Among our top priorities is facilitating the sharing of threat intelligence and promoting international cooperation in strengthening cyber resilience. This includes emergency resilience, industrial resilience, and societal resilience. Emergency resilience involves strategies to tackle all manners of challenges. For example, during then U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's historic visit to Taiwan in 2022, electronic signage outside some convenience stores and public transport facilities was compromised. The MODA responded by immediately revising relevant regulations to strengthen cybersecurity management of electronic signage as well as to prohibit the use of products posing cybersecurity risks in public areas. Now, we maintain this momentum through MODA units, such as the Administration for Cybersecurity. The administration promotes bilateral and multilateral cooperation with other countries, such as participating in the NATO Cybersecurity Conference. And last year, Taiwan hosted a multinational cyber offensive and defensive exercise, the CODE, as well as the Advanced Cybersecurity Exploration Conference with the participation of 18 countries. The truth of the matter 
as Taiwan faces more and more cyber threats by the day, with over 40% categorized as intrusion attacks. Our response is to upgrade our defensive posture by encouraging the adoption of zero-trust architecture nationwide. Now, I'm sure many of you already know the core concept of zero trust is never trust, always verify. Anyone, anywhere, at any time must undergo the verifications of identity, device, and behavior patterns when accessing any system, even me as head of Moda. With verifiable and irrefutable transmission records, we can more effectively detect insider threats. And instead of relying on passwords that can be easily compromised, we have already implemented multi-factor passwordless policies across the entire ministry. This allows our staff to work remotely anytime, anywhere, eliminating the need for traditional VPN and intranet configurations. And in addition to zero trust networks, we also deploy the T-Road, an interagency data transmission channel encrypted exclusively with agency certificates. It is cordoned off from internet facing services, providing more stringent security assurances. Our passion for digital democracy also extends to the latest challenges and opportunities presented by AI. In terms of governance, Taiwan maintains that a democratic approach, not a technocratic one, is the optimal answer for what is an ethical, political, and societal conundrum of global proportions. AI governance must not hinge on the unilateral decisions of a handful of companies that only reflect the views of the specific groups of people. It is necessary for cross-sector stakeholders to steer AI collectively so that it can be trusted by the international community. This engagement extends to co-creating the principles for advancing AI for the public good. To this end, the MODA is participating in alignment assemblies overseen by the Collective Intelligence Project with world-class partners such as OpenAI, Anthropic, the Golf Lab, and Getting Plurality Research Network. Alignment assemblies are sowing the seeds of consensus among the people regarding AI governance while addressing our common challenges and concerns collectively. At the same time, we're also leading industrial AI transformation in the core areas of talent cultivation, technological expertise exchange, as well as assessment and validation. Concurrently, the MODA engages with our international counterparts to establish AI norms in keeping with global practices. Case in point is the establishment of the AI Evaluation Center as a starting point for comprehensive evaluation of AI risks. The center combines safety research and development with innovative mechanisms for collective decision making. At present, we're already establishing a civic deliberation process to invite thousands of everyday citizens to co-create guidelines for AI evaluation. This is expected to further enhance societal resilience, ensuring the people have the ability to not just understand, but direct AI's role in daily life. In time, our AI norms will become part of the global gold standard, further cementing Taiwan's status as a reliable and trusted partner. This is not pie in the sky. This is one of the many, many ways Taiwan can help make significant headway on shaping cyber resilience and building better tomorrows for all. Blessings for your attention and all the very best for what I'm certain will be an impactful event. May the year of the dragon deliver democracy and peace for all and sundry. Live long and prosper.